All right, so today I want to talk about this shortcut for conservatives to know about the Donald Trump, Donald Trump trial right now, the hush money trial with Stormy Daniels and the election interference um, situation. So if you're super busy and don't want to go watching a bunch of videos and spending a lot of time looking into this, but you want a, a shortcut to understanding if this is something serious or it's just political, um, I will tell you. So, and I, I want to qualify this before I continue. I have not been paying attention to right-wing media. I don't really know what they've been doing. I think I happen to at least look at a single title of a video from Tim Pool um, that I saw today or yesterday. That's about it. So I haven't looked at the usual suspects. So I'm basing this on, you know, I've been doing analysis of partisan left-wing and right-wing media for years now. So I know a lot of their patterns in terms of their tactics and strategies and how they operate. So I know a lot about right wing media and their tactics and what they do when things are looking bad on their side versus the opposite. So I'm going to base a lot of this based on the established trends and patterns and tactics because I know these guys very well how they operate. Whether it's Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, it's Blaze TV, Newsmax, um, you know, all the... Uh, Daily Wire people, Fox News. I know how these guys operate. I know how they think. You know, I've been looking at them for years. So I think it's a safe bet in terms of how they will treat this. Here's another clue for you. If you're conservative watching right-wing media only, I can bet good money you probably have never heard this secret recording between Donald Trump and Michael Cohen. You gotta ask yourself why that is. Why is it that the average liberal is much more likely to have heard this than you? Why would right-wing media want to be suppressing things like this? Seen a quick big time. You guys are big bad. Oh, pass the scotch, please. No, pass the scotch. What's what's happening? Oh, no. Can we use him anymore? Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Use my Mark Burns. He, we told him. I don't mean the Mark Burns. Can we use him? No. Which lever? I'm sorry. Which lever? I just called. He just had me have a chance to get an idea for you. Great. Um, so if we got served from the New York Times, I told you this was regarding whether unseal the divorce papers with Ivana. Um, we're fighting it. Uh, Castles is going to You'll never be able to get it. Never, never. Castles says they'll never be able. They don't have a. Give me a job, please. They don't have a legitimate purpose. So a woman that doesn't want to see. Correct. So you know, yes, and it's all been going for, a while. for about two, three weeks now. All you have to do is delay it for. Even after that, it's not going to ever be opened. There's no, there's no purpose for it. Um, told you about Charleston. Um, I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David, you know, so that I'm going to do that right away. I've actually come up and spoken to me, and I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up uh, with funding. That, uh, yes, um, and it's all the stuff, all the stuff, because you know you never know where that company, you never know what he's going to be. Correct. So I'm I'm all over that, and I spoke to Alan about it when it comes time for the financing, which will be awesome. So here's the shortcut. If you want to know whether this is a real deal, whether Trump really did something wrong, whether this case should be a thing or not be a thing, whether they have the goods on Trump or not, or it's just fabricated or whatever, it's a witch hunt. The easy way to do that is if, if this case is not legit, if it's purely partisan, if it's corrupt, if it is something that is, um, you know, this weaponization of the DOJ and, and they just like, you know, the, the equivalent of, you know, me getting pulled over for speeding and then somehow they magically find marijuana in my back seat or something like that, right? If you want to know if it's that kind of a thing, this is what would happen if that were true, right? If this is all bogus, right? and they don't have the goods on Trump, right? Knowing how these guys operate, this is what you would see. You will see a ton of right-wing media posting a ton of videos about the trial, going into the substance of the trial, exposing, you know, so many, you know, on a daily basis, you know, how much nonsense is going on, right? They will very clearly state the strongest arguments, right? The strongest arguments in support of what's happening and be able to, to break it apart on a daily basis in terms of you know how everything is nonsense and this is a lie and someone said blah blah blah, right? This would be absolutely just gold if this was all bogus 
because them exposing how bogus it is and just following it on a daily basis, calling it out and getting into the substance of it, right? So they would tell you the substance of the claim in terms of what they're pushing in, in, uh, in court, right? And breaking it down how it's nonsense, right? And not just saying it's nonsense, you know, giving you the substance. You know, they made a claim that such and such said something, but they didn't present any evidence that, that the person said it, right? Or, you know, the only witness that they were able to present is a known con man who has had a track record of lying all the time and not only that is an issue but the fact that this is the only witness right they will be absolutely all over this you're going to see multiple videos from ben shapiro from stephen crowder from blaze tv tim pool all the usual suspects multiple multiple videos they will be all over this because that will get a ton of views right if this is is if it is truly a witch hunt it is absolutely you would be a fool not to be on a daily basis calling it out and exposing it. And again, not just generically saying it's a witch hunt, right? Explaining why it's a witch hunt with attacking the substance, right? So again, you'd want to talk about what the actual argument's being made. So for example, um, well, let's leave it at that. So that's what it would look like if this was all nonsense, if it was all a witch hunt, if it's all political and going after Trump. That's what you would see if you go and look at these YouTube channels. If in fact, what's happening is legit, right? If they have a lot of strong evidence against Trump. If it really looks like Trump is guilty, this is what you're going to see. A lot of silence, right? There's not going to be a ton of videos talking about the trial. They may mention it, you know, in parts of long live streams somewhere in there. Oh, this uh, witch hunt with a thing in the Democrats because they don't have policies and they're trying to get rid of their political opponents. Literally echoing the exact language coming from the establishment, GOP, and Trump and his allies, right? No independent thoughts, just basically echoing all of their talking points. But you'll see that sprinkled in in the end of live streams or whatever. But generally speaking, they're not gonna wanna put too much attention on this. They're not gonna wanna do a lot of videos about this. You may actually see quite a few of these major right-wing channels who may, in the last, well, since the beginning of the trial, may have posted anywhere from zero videos to a maximum of maybe one and then you know, they could mention it in multiple videos, but that'll be randomly at the end of a live stream or something. But making an actual video about the trial, um, either none or maybe just one video. Someone like a Ben Shapiro would definitely do a video trying to whitewash it. And again, I haven't looked at their channels, right? This is just me. So you can look and see if I'm actually correct or not. But I am basing this purely on patterns of behavior, right? Like I know Ben Shapiro and how he operates. He's definitely going to want to do a facts type video um, and... He's going to try to highlight like, oh, this is stuff. And there was a misdemeanor and they connected it and made a felony and this and that and that. And uh, why did it take so many years to do it? Like, all the, all the, the talking points, right? Um, he, he will spend a lot of time doing a, a, a supposed, it, it'll seem like it's an in-depth video, but he's not going to want to engage a lot with the facts and the substance. Um, here and there, some little points here and there, yes. But let's put it this way. If... The only thing you look at is Ben Shapiro's channel, assuming he does a video like this. You are not going to be very knowledgeable about the substance of the case, right? For some strange reason, he's not going to want to really inform you. Um, he's going to want to focus on mainly the details that, that will serve to whitewash it and diminish it and kind of like hand wave it away. Ah, it's a witch hunt, right? Um, that's what you're going to see. So... Let's talk about the types of videos that you would see if this case is legit. If it's actually legit, not a witch hunt, if, it's, if it's the, they have the goods on Trump, then you're not going to see many videos. And when you do see videos, the videos are going to just primarily highlight on anything to diminish the substance of these cases, right? So they're going to, for the most part, be quiet about it and not have anything to say until they find uh, a talking point, right? So let's say, for example, like the time where Stormy Daniels testified and, you know, things got a little bit salacious, right? Um, that's something that they'll want to talk about, right? Because that's something that will serve to distract from the substance of the trial, right? Let's not talk about the substance of the trial, what, what, what they're actually saying in court. Let's focus on, oh, Stormy Daniels went out there and, and she hates Trump and she said something about the size of his penis or whatever. Like, that'll be great content, right? They will, they will get out of the shadows, right? for opportunities like that where they're just specifically you know something that they can like throw mud on it like ah oh, this is nonsense right absent an opportunity to throw mud on it they'll just be generally silent nothing to say so you'll so if you watch liberal media right they're actually they will obviously well if they do have the goods on trump 
they're absolutely going to have a high appetite for covering this in detail right they're going to follow it on a daily basis and talk about the substance of it they'll talk a lot about what arguments made in case in court and the responses um i mean i even saw a guy on cnn who's some kind of legal analyst who i was actually kind of impressed with because i saw the cnn panel running with certain things and like you know I can't think of an exact example, but it's like they would they say a little something and like, ah, Trump is probably doing that because he's afraid of the evidence. And this guy would like shut them down and be like, no, 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 no. In fairness, um, this is the way these things normally work in court because you don't want to X, Y, and Z, right? So they'll all get excited about some some something that they latch onto and then he will shut them down and like pour water on it, um, which I actually appreciate it, you know? So that's solid journalism, right? Because a lot of times on, on CNN, MSNBC, and even these you know, independent channels, is it's kind of like a circle jerk. You know, one person has a talking point about whatever Trump is a fascist, and they're like, hey, he's a fascist, and they're all nodding their heads, and you don't really have dissenting opinions. Or CNN will manufacture dissenting opinions by putting on sort of a fake right winger. Not that the person isn't a right winger, but the person will be comically there to present uh, a different viewpoint. So, for example, you know, the, the main host will put, present a certain point of view, and then this, you know, right winger will put a rebuttal on it but the rebuttal would be so cartoonishly stupid it's just kind of like i don't know it's just like a fake rebuttal you won't you won't see a lot of times a strong rebuttal of substance on cnn right it's like they almost pretend to have a dissenting opinion but in this case this guy actually legitimately had a dissenting opinion he's not just like throwing cold water on stuff just to throw cold water on it uh, he was he was backing this stuff up with facts like no no this is the way it works you guys are misinformed. You guys are uh, making assumptions. We don't know if that's why, blah, blah, blah. We can't say that. So I actually appreciate that. But anyway, you're going to see a lot of things like that in, in liberal media. Um, and the, any kind of a bombshell or something that makes Trump look bad, they're going to definitely cover it for sure. Um, but you'll also see an appetite to cover the substance of it. So if this is legit, you're not going to see left-wing media doing the same thing that right-wing media is doing which is right-wing media silent unless there's some kind of talking point you're not going to see liberal media silent unless there's a talking point it's not kind of like they're not really talking about it and then trump's attorney says something stupid in in, in court and all of a sudden it's like okay liberal media like oh look at the trump attorney said no no they'll absolutely talk about that but they'll also talk about the substance right they'll talk about when the case is going to start what the case is about what is the arguments um what to expect in court and then the day-to-day -day stuff i mean they'll talk about in such excessive detail that like i remember today someone i think it was cnn said something like uh trump trump looked so when cohen testified i guess that's today i think they commented that trump looked at cohen i'm just kind of like I'm pretty sure this is not the first time that Trump has looked at a witness. And it's almost like they're trying to manufacture something like, oh, Trump's looking at Cohen and that means blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's where they're at. A lot of appetite to talk about this thing in detail, the substance of it, explaining the process, and then even to a point of, of being excessive, right? All this details about Trump farting and Trump, you know, um, sleeping and, and, you know, Trump had a grimace on his face and da 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 right? Any and everything they want to talk about it. Right with media, the exact opposite. But that's only if this is something that is legit. If it's complete nonsense, you're going to see right-wing media behaving in a similar way to the way that liberal media is um, in terms of they want to talk about it every single day and every single detail because the whole thing is an absolute joke, right? Um, but in reality, if it's legit, they're only going to want to highlight every little, they sit around waiting around for something to happen that kind of, oh, we could use that to say like, oh, it's nonsense or, oh, they're losing or whatever it is. Otherwise, don't really say much about it, right? That is what will happen in right wing media if this is actually legit. And additionally, I just wanted to comment, um, Cohen already went to jail for what they're going after Donald Trump for. And what he went to jail for is something that he did on behalf of Trump and based on him I think he took out a loan on his house or something like that like he wouldn't have done that as kind of like a charity type thing right Trump would have definitely been the one to push him and do it I mean that will be something that they'll have to prove in court and there's already been some stuff about that already but he's already went to jail for this and there's a lot of talk about weaponization of the DOJ but when Trump was president and they went after Cohen the way they did and took his phones and did the raid on him and convicted him and put him in jail. And there was some other shady stuff that went down as well. All these people talking about weaponization of the justice system had nothing to say, which is because once again, 
in this country, there's a lack of integrity. There's a lack of, of, of um, character, right? The people out now that are doing a fake outrage about weaponization of the justice system who don't care about the justice system being weaponized, right? What they really care about is that their tribe is looking bad. And that's the real problem, right? You know, when the DOJ is weaponized against someone who is deemed an opponent, um, then it's fine, right? If Trump gets elected and he wants to use the DOJ to go after his opponents, these people are not going to be, you know, protesting in the streets and calling Trump out on social media and saying Trump is a fraud. They're not going to say that. They're going to be cheering it on and say yes. And then if you challenge them, they're going to say, well, they did it too, right? As if we're in, in, in elementary school, you know, the idea that because someone else did something that is wrong, that it's okay for me to do the same thing because they did it first, right? That's an argument made by American adults. Like that's, where we're, that's where we're at in 2024. But anyway, that's what I wanted to say. Um, so you guys can take a look. Uh, if you're a conservative, you can take a look at your favorite influencers and YouTubers and look at their behavior and see if it aligns with what I said they would do if the case is legit or if it aligns with what I said they would do if the case is not legit, right? And once again, if it ends up being that they're doing what I said they would do if the case is legit, Consider how I was able to predict that so accurately, you know, that I didn't even have to look at their videos. Now, obviously, I could have looked at their videos and then I could be lying to you, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, there's no way for you to know whether I'm lying or I'm not. So you just have to use your judgment and whether you think that I'm being honest with you or not, right? As a guy who doesn't make any money doing this, I'm incredibly busy. Uh, um, I got a lot of stuff on my plate. I had a family a family friend from my childhood that recently died of cancer. Um, you know, I got a lot going on, right? For me to spend my time sitting here trying to, you know, get you guys to think and open your eyes to certain things for no money, um, which is only at my loss, right? I mean, this is time that I, 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 I should be doing stuff. Um, like right now, I kind of got, I'm kind of headed in a bad direction. Um, I can get myself out of this where I'm headed right now, but I'm kind of running off the tracks in a certain way in my life. Um, but that's because I'm kind of, I'm human, right? And, and certain things are overwhelming for me and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hiding from, you know, things that I need to address. So, right, you can make your judgment, you know, why someone who's dealing with stuff like that would take the time to go and talk to you about this um, in a respectful manner and breaking it down for no money. You know, when I don't really have the time for this and I'm not a social media person, I don't really use social media personally. I only use it uh, from a business standpoint or, you know, something like this where I'm giving back. Um, I have at times, you know, used social media personally, but I hardly ever post anything. I'm just not interested. I'm not into the getting likes and getting attention. That's not my thing. You know, it was years after Facebook was around and everyone was like, oh, you should join. And I was just kind of like, eh, uh, where I kind of got on there for a short while and I got quickly annoyed and left it. There's a time people tell me I should join Snapchat. And I was like, why? So you figured out why I'm spending my time doing these videos, right? And whether I'm being honest or not, right? Use your gut. This is the Debate Me channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well.